everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. Today I'm wearing my white hat because it's sunny out. Nice. Well, that's not the actual reason. <laughs> As you saw from the thumbnail, I will be painting Sonic the Hedgehog from Sonic the Hedgehog to movie on top of this white baseball cap. In one of our previous videos when I painted Red Panda from Disney Pixar turning red, I thought all I would need would be just acrylic markers, which are right here, but actually acrylic markers are great for little details. But to paint and fill in all the areas, it's better to use the paint. This is why I will be using the paint and the markers and the hat and I also have my woo pencil right here to do the sketch. I have my brushes and I have my mat to protect my working space. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to sketch Sonic's head. So this is just a sketch and what I noticed that I made his face a little bit too thin. Good thing is that I'm going to be using acrylic paint and markers and I can always paint over the sketch. Unfortunately, I cannot use eraser and start erasing my pencil, but that's fine. Like I said, paint will come to the rescue. And you possibly wondering what is gonna go right here. I was thinking about writing Sonic 2 but instead I think I'm going to add electric blue speed of light like you know like lightnings of blue color but we shall see Next, I'm going to choose the colors. So I have this blue, sparkly, well, metallic blue, which is perfect. Then I have another shade, a little lighter. Um, probably going to use light blue also. This one I may need to use for Sonic's eyes. And I will need to use darker blue also. And then we are going to continue with other colors later because obviously we have to paint Sonic's face so we will need some beige color, white, black but let's just move on with the blue colors for now. I wanted to pause and say that I really like this metallic blue, but I want to call it electric blue. <laughs> I just wanted to pause really quick and mention what colors I've been using. So I have this electric blue that I'm using for the base coat and then I use some of this regular blue color but you can't really see the difference. This is why I mix some of the black color, this darker blue and electric blue together to get this color and I really like it because obviously we need to define some areas with the shadows so it's okay to add black and darker shade of blue to hedgehogs um what are those called spikes yeah i guess so
All right, so the base coat and Sonic spikes are finished. Now we're just gonna add some shadows, paint his ears, his mouth and cheeks, and ears. And after that, I'm going to add some details right here. Oops, Sonic's eyes are green, right? Not blue. The picture I'm looking at, in this picture, his eyes are blue for some reason, but then everywhere else, his eyes are green. Okay, but it's okay because I can always paint it over. Okay, this is more like it. <laughs> I prepared two more colors. I have this copper metallic and a white colors that we will need for Sonic's cheeks, mouth, and ears. I'm going to mix black with some of this and perhaps some of this copper to get the perfect button nose. I'll be honest with you, I'm not too crazy about this color mix, but hopefully I can fix it. I'm just going to paint this color as the base coat and then see if I can add some highlights and low lights to the top. I can paint the eyeballs. Yes, I know this hat is white, but it does not mean that we're not supposed to be painting the eyeballs. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of black uh, for the shadow and blend the colors together. Same thing on the other side. Ooh, the eyes looking good. And I didn't even add the light reflection yet. Okay, next we are going to add color to the button nose. There you go. And a little bit of light reflection on the nose. Just like that. Adding some light and like some sparkle to the eyes. Oh, I'm loving it. It really looks like Sonic the Hedgehog is looking to my eyes. Next, I'm going to fix that mistake that I made. I mean, blue inside of the ear? Come on now, it has to be like brown orangey color. All right, and I think this is a beautiful transition. Okay, now I'm moving on to the smile. I need to use my thinnest brush because the smile is so thin. Actually, probably would be a good idea to use the marker, but because it's still kind of wet, I don't really want to use the markers on top of this. I don't think that color is going to transfer. I cannot wait to wear this baseball cap. Hmm. I'm going to match it probably with some jeans or shorts of blue color. I love wearing blue color, so this is going to match my wardrobe perfectly. And I think I literally just finished Sonic's face, but we're not done yet. 
So next thing what I want to do is add electric a blue light. So it's going to look like lightnings, hopefully, because I've never painted lightning and I hope I'm not going to ruin this cap. I'm actually going to draw the lightnings with my acrylic marker. It's actually not too bad. I want them to be shooting in all sorts of directions from Sonic. All right, I think it looks awesome. I don't think I'm going to use my paintbrush because I'm afraid to mess up. Instead, I'm going to add a lighter shade of my acrylic marker. First, I have to shake them. All right, let's see. Okay. Not too bad. And guess what? We are officially done. So here's the image I was looking at. It does have blue eyes for some reason. And this is Sonic that I painted on this white baseball cap. Okay, now is the real test. I'm going to put it on my head and see what it looks like. All right, so never mind the mask behind me because I just literally finished painting. But this is what they had looked like before and magical transformation while well, I'm switching the hats. <laughs> Ta-da! So cool. I'm just going to make it a little tighter. There we go. Are we loving it or what? I think it's so cool. So when I look down, you see the uh, electric lightnings, speed of light, and then... You see Hedgehog on my head, Sonic the Hedgehog. And he has that cool expression from Sonic the Hedgehog too. And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to draw or paint Sonic's friend Tails next. Also, click the like button if you think I did a good job. Well, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye!